Okay, so, um, my boys are seriously into robots, and I've uh, been wondering, wanting to build robots, and of course they have envisioned R2-D2, C-3PO, something like that, when the reality is much different, so I found these bristle bots from EvilManScientist.com, I think that's the website. Anyway, um, and they're super awesome, super easy to do. And I've uh, come up with a no soldering mechanism, or so no, you know, a way you can just do it. And really, all you need is a toothbrush, right? So here I have the Oral B Pulsar. I bought it from my local Walmart for four dollars and seventy some odd cents. This is actually a twin pack, so uh, it was like eight dollars and some odd cents, whatever. But anyway, here's uh, here's how we do it. So this is uh, just some test footage that I'll probably augment, but uh, here's your basic uh, toothbrush, right? So the bottom end just unscrews. We've got the battery part here, which is connected to a little switch here in the middle, and the motor is right up here. So if we pull this thing out, we can uh, take a look at the thing a little bit better. And uh, I'll go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna just try and make things easy on myself. There we go. All right. So here's the uh, here's the mechanism. You can see that it makes contact here, and then the little switch here. When it's up like that, it can make contact, and the motor can spin. When it's off, then little plastic part prevents it from making contact so that's what we got so far <coughs> okay so now that we've got this part out what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a couple of bends in the, uh, the metal parts here this top portion ends up connecting to the positive or the negative bottom part connects to the other end. So when we bend these together, we end up with complete circuit. And I like to use these little batteries, uh, AG3, whatever, 1.5 volts. You go with a 3 volt battery and get, get extra boost, but basically this is what we're going to build it for right now. If you're using a different battery, then use a different one. Um, you may wonder, why not just use this guy? Well, it's because when we clip this off, you know, that's going to throw the whole weight balance off if we try and put this thing on there. It's going to tip backwards. Put it up here, it'll tip forwards, whatever. So just use this little guy, bend this around, and then we'll be all set.
just like these things any nice heavy clippers should do. Do it. 